Tonight we have the story of a recycling program started right here in the coastal bend. Yeah, it all began more than a decade ago and continues to bring more life to our bays. Our Alexis Green reports. Gail Sivan, assistant director of the Heart Research Institute at TAMUCC, says with the help of their partners, they've been able to create almost three acres of restored oyster reef at Goose Island State Park. I don't want the gold, as I call it, the oyster shell down in the mud. So we put down all these pipe racks in, in rows and then put our shell on top of it and banking these four new reefs. According to Sivan, the project took four days to move 210 concrete barriers, which are 40 feet by two feet and weigh almost 14,000 pounds each. Over 330 pounds of oyster shells that have been collected from local restaurants and wholesalers will be placed on top of those barriers. Richard Lomax, president of Water Street Restaurants, says that they have been involved in the oyster recycling program for 15 years now. They have kind of did all the legwork and gave us this system to recycle them, and we just all we had to do is train our guys to separate them from the trash. And so it's been a really great win-win situation. The bays are building new reef, uh, ecosystem's doing great, and we're saving diesel costs and everything, throwing away uh, those beautiful little oyster shells. Sidden says she calls oysters gray gold because of the vital role they play in our ecosystem. A lot of people don't understand their importance to the environment though is they're kind of the happening place underwater. That's where the fish hang out, the baby fish, crabs, things like that, and they also clean the water. The Heart Research Institute says both scientists and students will continue to monitor and study these reefs for years to come. Lexis Green, 3 News.